Hi boys and girls. As I said, we're going to have another short video. Um, I just wanted you to see some of the shapes, uh, how they look and how they are in our world. So you can get an idea of they're already seeing these shapes all the time. It's just maybe some of them you might not have known their names. Um, so let's look first at the circle. I know the circle was not in our video, but I just wanted to review it. So the circle has no straight sides. This, um, it has curved sides. And because it doesn't have straight sides, the circle has no corners, okay? Um, and some things we see that are circles are like this yummy donut, you might say, has that round shape. Or maybe the clock on your wall has a circular shape. So a circle. Over here we have the triangle. And the triangle, as we saw in the video, has three sides and it has three corners. You might see a triangle with our hanger here that has the triangle shape here. Might be a slice of pizza. That's also a triangle. Or maybe even a Dorito is a nice triangle shape. So already some of the things you might see in your life or even things that you're eating in your life are, are some of our shapes. Our next shape is a square, and a, a square has four equal sides. So that means all the sides in the square are the same size. And it also has four corners. Okay, and remember the corners are where those sides meet. Here are some examples of squares. You might have a square picture frame in your house, or you might even have a square cracker. So those are just some ways that we might see squares. So a rectangle is our next shape. And a rectangle has two pairs of equal sides. So that means it has four sides all together. So over here we have these two sides are equal and the top and the bottom here are equal as well. So two pairs, four sides in all, and it has four corners. So that's where those sides meet. Okay. And the door here is an example of a rectangle. This is a rectangle shape. Also, a chocolate bar is a rectangle shape. I see one rectangle, big one here, and then each, there's all those little tiny rectangles inside the chocolate bar as well. So every day we're seeing those rectangles in our lives. The next one we have, you might not have heard this shape. So this is a trapezoid. Take a good look at it so you get to learn it. Um, it has four sides. The sides are not equal. Um, and it has four corners, and that's where the sides are meeting. So where do we see trapezoids? Well, trapezoid might be on your popcorn. Um, when you go to the movies, you have a popcorn holder. So you see that trapezoid shape or maybe even your lamp at home might have that trapezoid shape. Okay, and our next shape is the rhombus. Now it has four um, sides and the sides are equal and four corners where those sides meet. But remember, it doesn't have the square sides like the square. So that's how, um, I'm not sorry, square corners. So that's why it's not the same as a square. Um, these are some examples of rhombus. You might have some earrings in a rhombus shape, um, or you might even see a sign on the road that is in the shape of a rhombus. Okay, and our last shape is another one you might not be as familiar with, and this is the hexagon. So a hexagon has six sides, and it also has six corners. Okay, so here are some things um, that we might see that are hexagons. So this is a blanket that has the hexagon shape. All those hexagons are crocheted together. In nature, bees, a beehive is the hexagon shape. Each one of those little beehives has six sides. Um, on the soccer ball, only the white part has six sides. That's a hexagon. The, the um, black are not, that only has five sides. So it's only the white part on the soccer ball. And this is a bolt. They have six sides and even pencils like we've used at school. These are colored pencils and they have that hexagon shape. 
So many things that we see um, do have the shapes that we're learning today. So I just wanted to show you that in this video and I hope that helps you to learn these shapes a little better. Um, and thanks so much for spending some time with me. Have a great day.